Despite some public complaints, China is not easing up on its strict COVID protocols at the Beijing Olympics. Monday's women's hockey game between Canada and the Russian Olympic Committee was delayed over an hour as officials waited to receive the Russian team's COVID test results. And when the game did get underway, all players had to wear masks. A Belgian athlete went viral after her video highlighted the extended isolation policy. And obviously this is very hard for me. So I ask you all to give me some time to consider my next steps because I'm not sure I can handle 14 more days and the Olympic competition while being in this isolation. She tested positive for COVID after arriving in China, but even after several negative tests, she was taken to another isolation facility. She was allowed back on the ice for training Monday, but is still being tested twice a day and won't be allowed to return to the Olympic Village for a few more days. Journalists are also sharing their experiences during events separated from the athletes by metal barriers. Swedish journalist Philip Gad tested positive while in Beijing. He describes being taken into isolation by ambulance while being covered in a full body protective suit. He described the experience like being in a sci-fi movie. Then there's this video from a Dutch news agency. What will China the coming hours let us see? Yeah. As you can see, a Chinese official appears to shut down the report live on air. Chinese officials not allowing any live news coverage of the city that haven't been approved beforehand.